All right, so they've kicked up the dam a little bit, a little bit more current blowing through. So uh, got all dams pretty much spewing out water pretty much. Um, uh, so we decided to start walking baits. So um, uh, in older videos, I've showed you guys how to do this. You can walk baits while anchored. You don't need a hi-fi trolling motor, you know, 112 pound thrust, $3,000 trolling motor. Uh, for the guys, you know, that, that can't afford that, the bigger equipment, you can walk baits while anchored. So basically what you do is you find the sinker that will let you what, bounce the bait, you know, every six inches, you know, down the river. That way you're slow to your presentation down. And these fish, they're going to, it, it's basically presenting it in its natural state of bait flowing down the river so and you'll actually feel these fish pick the bait up um, granted we are on the Red River where there's loads of channel cat in here but uh, the technique works so um, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and show you here real quick uh, and it's fun. yeah and it's and it's so much fun so I'm just gonna lower the bait down right behind the boat <laughs> oh and it's it's ridiculous and then we're just gonna let it you'll feel it, the sinker hit the bottom i did there bring it up bring it up every time you bring it up hold your hold your finger on the bail and then if you want to move back a little bit just whenever you bring it up the top just just let some line out thumb grip it these channels are so mean out here that they'll They'll try to straight rip the rods out of your hands, so. Brian's been fighting one for five minutes that he hooked up with, so. It won't come up. And when it starts to, it starts feeling dry. He's upset that I've smacked it in the face with a chunk of bait. <laughs> oh, right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> you can feel them sucking in. And you can put the hurtings on them. That one did just that. He just, you can actually feel them suck the bait in their mouth. And some of them will rip the rod out of your hand. Oh, Brian. Bring your rod tip down. Now's when we need the chairs, Brian. Yep. If we're gonna walk baits. But yeah, and then once you feel one, suck it in. You can either, you know, I, I like tripping the bale and, and and crossing their eyes, so. Doing with the trolling motors, uh, same concept, but you're actually gonna be moving down the river and you want to have about 100 to 175 feet of line out you know kind of directly out the back of the boat and you want to slow your presentation down you know quite a bit so at least half the current speed but uh with this presentation we're really really slowing it down to where it'll give these give the bigger fish a chance to to uh, suck the bait in when it's coming across them of course we, yes we are in the red river and uh Oh yeah, Brian's got a bigger fish, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this baby in the rod holder and catch Brian's. <laughs> God, this is funny. This it? one still has some strength. Well, that's a bigger fish too. Oh yeah, that's a dandy, Brian. That's a that's a twenty plus. Yeah, go and unhook her and we'll, we'll go and weigh this one. Scale there. I'd say she's close to 20. Say 21. 
21 pounder. There you go, Brian. Suck it in. Oh, it just bam. Oh, did it? <laughs> Try to rip the rod right out of your hand? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, they, they have two things. They'll either bite it and sit down with it, or they'll try to rip the rod out of your hand. So. And it took off. Where's it? And that was with an old gristle up piece of bait. So that's 14. 14? That'll work. 